I'm ready for this. <laughs> Wait, are you punching? I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome to a very special episode of Fung Bros Food. Right now we're in the East Village neighborhood in New York City. We're gonna be taking you through the best Asian bar in America. It happens to serve delicious food. It's one of the spots that we frequent the most. You might even catch us here on a weekend. Fat Buddha. So we're inside of Fat Buddha with the owner Cliff and the manager Carlos. What can you guys tell us about Fat Buddha? Fat Buddha is an Asian hip hop bar. We basically pay a lot of homage to old school hip hop and DJ culture. And we have delicious food. So normally in the evenings, this place is a classic New York hip hop party, but right now we're here to try the food. Let's go. We're here with Shannon. She also works here as a server. What do we got here, Shannon? The honey ginger garlic wings and the salt and pepper soy. It's a classic Chinese dish. Um, be fried with jalapeno shavings and served with ponzu sauce. So, by the way, this is not your average buffalo wing. It doesn't have barbecue sauce. It doesn't have buffalo sauce. It doesn't have ranch or blue cheese. This is their own twist on the chicken wing. Yeah, I noticed the way you guys cut it is different. It's like really flexible. It's almost like some, some roshis. <laughs> Yo, that is bursting with flavor. I definitely recommend getting the wings. It's one of our most popular dishes. All right, next up, Cliff is gonna help us introduce the Remix Bow. Wicka, 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 me, 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 me. All right, Cliff, this is your take on the classic Chinese Taiwanese bow. What, what is, like, what's your own unique twist on it? Uh, this one is a uh, braised pork shoulder. A lot of places they use uh, pork belly. I think it's a little too fatty, not so healthy. This one is a soy chicken, it's like really popular. I'm trying to be vegetarian friendly. Oh man, look how juicy that is. Oh, that's so good. Yes. Remixed. We've got Sue, a bartender here at Fat Buddha. I'm introducing you guys the Korean food, which is bibimbap. So we have a sprout. Sauteed onion, carrot, spinach, uh, and fried eggs, and nori, which is a seaweed pepper. Bibimbap means it's mixed rice. Mm, I like that. Mm. It's it's also good for vegetarians because it doesn't have any meat and it's still tasty. Bibimbap. Yo, Carlos. Carlos. Carlos, you're the manager here at Fat Buddha. Hello, hello, if they, hello. If the people come into this establishment, they will see you most likely, right? I live here. So come and find me. Knock on the door, I'm gonna open the door. Come on, knock on my door. You get mail sent here. All the time. What are we looking at? All right, the first thing we're looking at is the jungle fries. Okay. This is the bomb. It's like a mixture. Cheese, kimchi, bacon, papas fritas. That's what I call my, my chefs. Now these are the kimchi sliders. These are also our, our take on sliders. Cheese, beef, kimchi, toasted bread, a little bit of butter. Why not? This is your classic burgers and fries combination, but you hit it with the Remix! Crispy. Oh, we don't play Jeez. games ever. Oh man, I'm getting everything in this bite. Mm. Ah! Yo, it's meaty, cheesy, very uh, Papa's Fritties. Can't go wrong. Those are like baked potato kimchi fries. That's the way yes. to go. Sliders, not your ordinary sliders. Nope. Salutations. These are pretty good. Mm -hmm. Every time, check it out. Kimchi, cheese, lettuce, tomato, get some. All right, you guys, so we are here at our vegetarian section with the Friday resident DJ here at Fat Buddha, DJ Marvel. What's up, y'all? I'm originally from the Bay Area. What's up, Warriors fans? What's going on, guys? <laughs> and Fat Buddha is known for its good music, and you are part of it. When a lot of people come here, they tell me, like, oh, what, what should I get here? I always tell them these two dishes. These two are some of my favorite dishes. And again, they are vegetarian. One is the uh, Brussels sprouts. It's kind of an Asian fusion take on it. Some fish sauce on it. It's very good. You got to try it. And this is our soy garlic edamame dish, another one of the most, like, when, when someone walks by with it in their hand, they're like, smell, they're like, what's that? Yeah. It's that yeah. heavy garlic flavor that's like, really tasty. In the, in the food world, I believe they use the adjective, the aromatics. Yes. That, oh, that is easily one of the best Brussels sprouts I've ever had in my entire life. Told Man. You. Didn't I tell you? You told us. Let's get in these little mamas. A lot of people would say, you know what? I don't want to just eat beans. 
But they're not. No, they're edamames. This is my power food before I start a set. Muscle sprouts, soy garlic, edamame. Get it. All right, we're here with our friend Perry Stacks. You might know him from Image NY, but he's also a regular here at Fat Buddha. What's up, guys? My name is Perry Stacks. Yeah, this is called the Fat Bowl. There's an exclusive off the menu. Here we have uh, some mixed bibimbap uh, with spam, cheese, and fries. All right, man. I'm trying. I'm getting in this Fat Bowl. Let's dig in. It's got everything in it. Man, they're not playing around. What, the goat you No, there's mad cheese in there. I mean, you're talking about cheesy, spicy rice. Definitely not something you would eat if you were on a diet, but maybe on your cheat day. It's definitely one of the best hip hop bars in New York, so you should definitely check it out. And lastly, we're here with Jin. You're gonna introduce to us the kimchi fried rice. Kimchi fried rice in Korean is called kimchi bokumbap. Before we get into the kimchi bokumbap though, you guys have to try kimchi bags. Kimchi right. backs. Uh, right. What is a kimchi back? What is that? Is that like a, a remix of something else? Yeah, totally. It's like a pickle back, only instead of pickle juice that you chase, it's kimchi juice. The version we have, this is not whiskey. This is ginger ale. Uh, we have the non-alcoholic version. Cheers. 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 And then Cheers. you're gonna drink this and then immediately yep. drink this. Ready? All right, let's go. Seven. Mm. Oh, I'm just imitating what I would do. Ah. <laughs> well, first, your your reaction would be, oh, oh. No, that 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 kimchi juice was not bad. Yeah. We got all kimchi everything right now. Woo. Let's get into this. Get egg in there. I did. Yeah. That just feels like a really like homemade, like nice, simple, like comfort food, like you said. Yeah. All right, you guys, all that food was so delicious, but you know what? Fat Buddha is about everything. It's about the music, the food, the experience. So, you know what? We gotta get on to the music portion. Let's go get some DJ tips from our friend DJ, DJ Marvel. Marvel. <laughs> There's no other venue I'd rather be than playing at Fat Buddha, because you know, it's just, you get so much love from the crowd, you get so much energy from the crowd, and people come here for the music that you're rocking. It's real important as a DJ, like, if the crowd's like having a good time, if I'm having a good time in here, then the crowd's gonna be having a good time. You're doing this for the people. You're doing this to make sure that people out there are having a good time, you know, first, first and foremost. So if you come up to him and request some whack song that <laughs> kills the party, it's your Yo, fault. That's, that's a basic baby scratch. And then, all right, so the, Oh! I, I'm, are we at Scribble Jam 2001? <laughs> Woo! Yo. Yo, Arch, you guys, thank you so much for watching that episode of Foam Bros Food here at Fat Buddha. This is one of our absolute favorite venues in New York to go to. We recommend that if you're in New York, definitely check it out. I think there's so many things about this establishment that make it so unique and make it fun and make it accessible to everybody. Uh, but you could probably say it better than I can. How would you put it? Basically, just trying to have a nice combination of uh, good people, good food, music, and uh, that's pretty much it. Everybody brings a party, you bring the party, or you don't, that's it. So the elements being good music, good food, good people, good crowds, it's just a good time. Uh, in a place like New York City, to have a place that does welcome and uh, embrace kind of like what we do. Thanks for checking out the video. Come check us out at Fat Buddha. Live fat! <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that video at Fat Buddha. It was beyond food. Um, even though the food is delicious at Fat Buddha, it's just one of the spots that can't recommend enough that people check out when they come to New York City. Every time we run into a fan that's visiting or a friend that's visiting, they're like, oh, where should we go tonight? Uh, do you guys know any spots? We're just like, check out Fat Buddha. You can't go wrong. If you're of age, Fat Buddha. In our time here that we were living in New York, we came here so, so many times. And I know that every time we come back to New York, we will be at Fat Buddha and we'll see familiar faces. So check out this video over here, that video over there. Check out the shirts at FumroShop.com. Subscribe button below. And until next time, we're out. Peace. Peace.